Hi, this is Steve from Hobby Town in Orland Park, and we're going to do another unboxing video for you today. This is an exciting one. This is the new Traxxas Funny Car. Uh, we got ours in today. We're one of the first hobby stores in the area to have them. We got them in, and we wanted to show it to you as quickly as possible. So this is the new Traxxas Funny Car. This one is the Traxxas Courtney Force Edition. Uh, the price on it is $499.99. Let's go ahead and open it up and show you what's inside the box. Okay, so here it is, the TQI radio. Um, this is the newest radio from Traxxas. This one has a few uh, extra little um, bells and whistles on it. And if you look at the top, you'll see you got the switch. So you've got the burnout mode to get the tires heated up. You've got the staging mode and you got the race mode. So you're going to flip through all of those. So burnout to warm it up, stage to get it staged up so you can make small movements to move it forward in small amounts. Flip it to race mode when you got the green light and hit the throttle and off she goes. So this is that. This one also has the ability to have the docking station on it. Um, we have the docking stations in stock. The base comes off. You put the docking station base on. You plug your iPhone or iPod into that. And that will work with the new scoring system that will be coming from Traxxas. That is the DTS-1. They do talk about it on the box here. They have not released that product yet. We think those are a couple weeks away before we'll see those. But uh, the TQI radio will give you elapsed time. It will give you uh, miles per hour. It will give you reaction time give you all that information, and we look forward to having those here. Um, that system is gonna be a $200 system for the scoring system. Nice things with this vehicle is there's no body clips. If you look on the, here, the body is nice and clean. There are no body clips anywhere holding it on. So in order to open the body up, if you look on the bottom here, you will see the little release. You just flip the release, and that will allow you to open the body up, and you can you can see inside the body is removable. There's a couple screws you have to remove in order to take the body off, but just to get access to be able to put the batteries in and out of it, um, you can do that just with the release. So we'll do that. So if you take a look inside here, you've got um, you've got your inline uh, front suspension. Uh, the shocks look very similar to what they use on their 116th vehicles. The uh, rear suspension as well has a very similar shock as to what they have on their 116th vehicles. Um, the tires are kind of unique. If you look, they look like they're a solid rubber tire, but in reality, the rubber ends right here on this line. And this is a hard plastic rim made to look like a rubber tire with the Goodyear logo on it. And these tires are the same compound as they use on their X01, so they are definitely rated for the high speed. X01 tires are rated over 100 miles an hour, the top speed. Um, this vehicle is about 70 miles an hour for the release on the battery. And you can go ahead and put your battery inside there. For max speed, they're recommending a 3S battery um, with at least 30 or 35C to get maximum speed out of it. So that's the quick release, easy to install for the battery. Um, there is a wheelie bar on the back of it, as you can see. You've got a small little adjustable wheelie bar. You can raise and lower the wheelie bar uh, with the turnbuckle on the bottom. Uh, you can see the electric motor. It is a castle motor. It's a four-pole brushless motor. Um, on the side of it, it says max RPMs is 72,000 RPMs. So this is a high revving motor. This thing should really move out. Um, that's really I, all we got for you on this. Uh, we are going to take one of these things out and actually run it, so stay tuned.